I'm Emily and I work in the decorating room here at Wilton. Today I'm going to show you three techniques that you can use with the Wilton airbrush available only at Michaels. First, we're going to add some color and sheen to these hydrangea blossoms. Squeeze a couple of drops of blue airbrush color into the color cup. First, turn on the air pump. Then, pull the airflow lever to spray color. Completely cover the flowers by spraying in a steady back and forth motion. Next, we're going to use the airbrush over Wilton's stick and stay stencils to create a pretty pattern that we can then use to decorate a cookie. On white fondant that has been rolled out 1 16th of an inch, apply the stencil and then spray on a medium speed with pink airbrush color. To add a little extra shading, spray some purple to a few sections of the stencil. Allow the color to dry for about a minute, then peel off the stencil and you're left with a great design. Use a round cutter to cut out the pattern and attach it to a cookie using a little piping gel. Lastly, I'm going to show you an easy way to make clouds or mountains for your cake. Take a soft paper towel and gently tear it into random wavy strips or pieces. Use different pieces to create different shapes. Repeat with the next color, pink. And now you have a lovely cloudy sunset. Now wasn't that easy? There are tons of fun things you can do with the Wilton airbrush and airbrush colors available exclusively at Michaels. Try it on fondant, buttercream, gum paste, or royal icing. 